and let us give them the honor that they deserve because they left us here and they were doing well and by all accounts when brother Garfield spoke to me and brother Omar George spoke to me they said Rev these boys have done us proud it would have been our regular service day and we have certainly understood the feelings that's running through the community and through the church. So the service has been structured to facilitate, you know, a kind of expression of lament, an you know, expression of, of, of your mourning. So we had times of prayer and times of worship where we want believers to know that it is okay to shed your tears, it's okay to, to, to lament. And that's part of the, what we'd have been doing anyway, expressing our praises to God. But this time around, we are suffering a loss. So, so we, we are continuing to praise God, but also underneath that, praising Him for the lives that He led to us. And um, it's a mournful day, but a joyful day. Yes, it has been. The, the family is holding up pretty well. Spoke to Reverend Bulgin this morning, and he was certainly the brightest I've heard him since, since Monday. Um, update as it relates to what processes are going on now. The, the body was found and they are positively identifying it through DNA so that will take a few days. While they do that, um, the documentations are being done for the transfer of the body, the bodies from the state to the family. And from there on, it will be funeral home in the States to funeral home in Jamaica. A timeline for that has not been fully established because the DNA matchings and, and groupings have not yet been done. And in the meanwhile, they are being given good psychosocial support from the community there in Martha's Vineyard and from the support team that is on the ground in Boston and on Martha's Vineyard. The Bulgins and their two daughters flew up to Boston on the night, right, Monday night, and the, the support is great because the national office has sent a representative with him. The church here in Palmer's Cross, a representative from the church, is with him. And fortunately, a blessing from the Lord. We have two, two, two sets of members up there who had their roots in Palmer's Cross. And they really laid the groundwork and did all the logistics. We have found comfort in knowing that there's a Jamaican couple there that is unconnected with the Palmer's Cross Church. They gave up their home for them to stay. And the entire, seemingly the entire island of Martha's Vineyard is rallying around. We never expected it, but just reflect for five seconds on some things that you have done. And it's just, you don't even know why you're here. So I'm happy that these guys, they never caught them with any drugs in their pocket. They never had any spliff in them out. They, they are going to be testing the bodies and I think they have done that and everything is all right. They died the way many men have died. And let us give them the honor that they deserve. Because they left us here and they were doing well. And by all accounts, when Brother Garfield spoke to me and Brother Omar George spoke to me, they said, Rev, these boys have done us proud. Abdel Noor, Doug Abdel Noor, who owns the No Man's Restaurant, spoke glowingly about the boys, especially the boys. Uh, they were known on the island for their hospitality, their decency, and as the boss said, and they quoted me, for their unwavering faith, Thomas Christ. much for us to give God thanks for. They may have died but they left a mark somewhere and somebody I know will be coming to Christ because of their lives. Share what you mean, you said the media need to ensure they carry the, the real message. Well, as I'm speaking to the media and we know that media has a scavenger side and very vivacious and oftentimes we recognize that media personnel, they are searching for 
a news within the news. And we have seen it time and time again where stories have been spinned and slanted. And all we are asking is that the media report as is. And the, re the, the report has show what is. And we are not expecting any negative tweaking. So for any reason it may tarnish or impale the complexion, the status and the integrity of these guys. You know, this incident, as tragic as it has been, um, has caused me to think deeper, philosophically and theologically. And one of the things that's coming out, when we look at how everything is stitched up, we, we, we have a community pouring a lot of love on, on our pastor. That is significant. And that is as a result as to how he serves the community and how he treats the people in his congregation and the community. Um, further to that, those that are overseas, the, the Prices, the Shakespeare's, the Greens, the Fairweathers, the Jameses, all of those folks um, would have been affected in one way or another by his ministry and by his person. And, and I'm, I'm just saying, that in the midst of the tragedy, we must recognize what is it that is being said here, that people will live good and people must ensure that their relationships are genuine and proper. Thank Respect you very much. Blessings.